The next piece of work is to machine up a valve chest, a rectangular valve chest from this piece of bar. This is 1564s because I want to ream it a quarter inch. I've diverged slightly from my Fred boy's order of operations. He squared his valve chest up first and then drilled the hole. Um, since I had that set up in the lathe anyway to get to the right length, I thought I'd drill first. I now needed to make sure that when I take this down, I take it down by the same amount on both sides of an axis. So for example, for here, the overall thickness of this part needs to be 540 thou. So I therefore need to make sure that I take 230 from this side and then 230 from the bottom side. And then that will be exactly right and this hole will be centered in that axis. That's the theory. Let's see how it pans out. I had no frame of reference for the depth of that cut other than the dial on the knee. So it looks good to me, it looks about right, but we won't know until we've done the face that's uh, adjacent and then the opposite face, uh, and then we can measure the thickness. So let's see. Somehow this piece was skewed, but I managed to catch it in time, reset it. We still got about 30 thou to come off, so that was quite lucky really. Because I took it out, checked it, measured it and so on, and put it back in again, um, I wasn't sure, why well, I wanted to make sure of the various dials. I don't think I had about 40 thou. Turns out I, needed, I had 38 thou more to come off. And if I, uh, if I use the depth micrometer, you can see here, basically at, Whoa, 575 basically, so 35 to come off. I was really a bit worried about the parallelism of the sides of this piece because it twisted in the vise that time. I thought I straightened it out okay. Um, and we can check here, got it resting on the surface plate and the dial indicator on top. If we sweep across, see that it's basically flat. Which is what you'd hope, but best to be sure. So what are the scores on the doors for this? Can we move the plunger across there? You can see it's pretty parallel. So that's a success. So for the valve, there we are, we have one, two foul on that side. So if I then flip it 180 degrees, we are about two on the highest, I guess. Two thou on that side. So that, that was pretty bang on. Pretty happy with that. So if we do the same thing in the horizontal position, C 
see we're about oh, what do we get up to about zero I guess and then if we flip it 180 degrees and do the same thing we end up with six so oh, maybe a bit more eight so that means that the when we look at the valve like this the valve chest the valve spindle is uh, about eight thou closer to this side than this side the overall width is pretty much bang on 540 thou so we can't take off any more um, in hindsight i could have probably taken this down to within 10 or 15 thou both sides and then then shaved it as i needed to um, as it stands though um, the only thing that this uh, the alignment of this is going to interfere with is a um, a a connecting rod and a fairly loose buckle um, which I think you have to bend anyway so given that I have to bend it and uh, I, I am only eight thou out I don't think anyone's going to uh, be too upset about that in general I'm pretty pleased with how that's come out now I need to drill about 50,000 bloody features on this thing so let's get back over to the mill look at me I'm even thinking about my order of operations here Because I've got a hole under here already, I don't really want to use the Rizzler trick. I'm just going to use this 10 thou feeler gauge, measure down using the fine feed, then when it starts to drag, I'll move it down the 10 thou, then I'll know I'm on the surface. Then plunge 3 30 seconds and traverse 7 eighths. Here is the finished part. All the holes are in the right place and that uh, milled channel is also there. There's a little bit of tear out over here and I think that's because when I stopped and started the mill in the hole, the, the mill might have wandered a little. Um, that's my bad, I guess, but I wasn't really confident in getting all of the dimensions bang on while turning the dials and, and carrying the one and dropping the zero and whatnot. So yeah, pretty happy with that. You'll see now I'm using a stop because all the features on this side are symmetrical down the center line. I could have used a stop last time. A smarter man would have used a stop the first time round. Yes, it's more drilling, but there's only three more holes to drill. We need to tap this hole for the lubricator, 3 16 by 40. I don't think I need to, but I'm going to run a bottom in tap in here as well. And the last operation here is to tap these holes, 6BA. I'm going to use a bottoming and tap here as well. And here is the finished item. And this is how it will work with the cylinder. <laughs> 